guy is crazy. I, I, I don't know what I would do if I was blow every day. This is actually looking really good. What's up world, it's your boy Preston. Can you guys guess where I'm at today? I'm not even gonna give you time to guess. Here, look. I'm at Dutch Bros, once again. This is like the 10th day in a row. All right, so we're at the Kings Arena. Um, I picked up Blake. He's just kind of chilling with me, just kind of following me, but right now we're gonna hand out some lift cards, give people some $50 lift credit so that they can get $5 off the next 10 rides, which I will put right here. But yeah, definitely take advantage of that. So there's a lot of uh, other guys handing out a bunch of these cards. So I'm actually gonna go to the other side and see if I can find like my own little designated spot, I guess you could say. So here's another lift brand ambassador. What's going say. on, how you doing? You wanna uh, tell them where they can follow you at? They can follow me on DJH305 on Facebook, Instagram, anything you think of, Google me, I'm there. All right, man, for sure. Be sure to go check them out, guys. He be DJing. So I'm gonna let them do their thing. I'm actually gonna go back home because I'm like exhausted. Um, or maybe I won't go home. I'll just drive around. But I just, I'm not gonna actually hand out more cars because there's too many uh, lift people here and it's just like overwhelming for people. So I'm just like, eh, I'll, I'll stick to my grind somewhere else. So even though these people are like taking my business, um, they're all pretty cool. So I think that's like awesome. Um, that it's like a community of Lyft drivers. It's so cool. Like they all communicate with each other, and uh, I don't know. I just think it's kind of like a. It's a cool little thing for them, I guess. Um, Lyft is not like my full-on job. <laughs> YouTube is obviously. I do this shit every day. I think it's like super, super dope that they can all just hang out here and you know hand out cards. Like it's not really a competition to them. Like you know what I mean? Like they're all just doing their own thing. They're all making their own grind. Let's get Lyft all day, bro. <laughs> they knew I was a YouTuber, I guess. I don't know. But let's go. Alright, so we found this guy. He said uh, he wants to be on YouTube, so let's go ahead and say something, bro. What's up, guys? I'm uh, Juan. Uh, follow me on Snapchat, Mark129D. This guy is crazy. I, I, I don't know what I would do if I would blow every day. That's like a, <laughs> I'm a kind of child. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. Have a good one. I just dropped off Blake. Um, right now, I'm gonna go to Kiana. Oh my gosh, she's calling me. What are the odds that she just called me right now as I was uh, recording this? That's hilarious. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go pick her up and uh, we might just go home. I think I'm gonna do a challenge by myself, maybe, or something. I haven't decided, but uh, we'll figure it out, I guess. And did you guys see, like, people actually wanna be on YouTube on my vlog, that is so sick. Um, I don't know, it's just awesome. It's the best feeling when somebody notices you or notices that you're doing something and they're like, oh my God, hey, like, what are you doing? Oh, you're a vlogger? Oh, sick. Like, you know, I just think it's so cool. Sooner or later, I'm gonna be so big though that everybody's gonna notice me and they're gonna be like, oh my God, that's Preston. They're not gonna just ask, are you a vlogger? They'll be like, that is Preston, he's a vlogger. Okay, so I'm going to Target by myself right now. I gotta find something for me to do for you guys um, when I get home. Kiana's in the car though, cause she's not feeling too good. Bathroom selfie. The only thing I got at Target was some popcorn because I think me and Kiana are gonna watch a movie tonight and or like just eat popcorn and uh, watch Netflix and chill. So yeah, that is gonna be our night. Um, I am gonna do a little skit or challenge for you guys before that, um, but I'm actually gonna go to Safeway because Target closed on me and I didn't have enough time to think of something. So I'm gonna find something at Safeway because they're open a little bit later. I was really in the store for like 30 minutes looking for something to do and I think I found something. I'm going to be doing an experiment. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to be but I bought a few things that I might have an idea of what I should do. Are you guys ready to start this uh, experiment? Everybody is sleeping. It is 1.03 in the morning. I'm exhausted but I'm going to do this for you guys. So basically what I'm going to try and do is melt these Oreos I got and then I bought brownies so I'm gonna put like the melted Oreo you know um, drizzle I guess you can call it and I'm gonna put it all over the brownie and then I also got some uh, candy so what I'm gonna do with the candy is I'm gonna try and melt it in with the 
Oreos itself. And I'm just gonna make this like cool drizzle to put over your brownies. So I think the first thing I'll need is a pan to actually boil this stuff up. I just opened this box of Oreos and there's an Oreo missing. I don't know if that's like a defect or if there's always an Oreo missing. So I think I'm just gonna throw these in. I'm delighted this day. Maybe I should throw some milk or something to actually get this stuff to uh, melt. Okay, so we got the milk. Let's do this. Because, you know, milk is always good with them Oreos. This is actually looking really good. Um, I'm just going to wait until it melts completely, though. It's kind of like toasting it. Okay, I think it's done, guys. Do you see that? Wow. That actually looks really good. Like, it's kind of thick still. I kind of wanted it more liquidy, but I think that'll be pretty good. Okay, let's try this thing. Wow, it's actually really good. I totally forgot about the Kit Kats. So um, I'm gonna pour more milk in there, and then I'm gonna throw in some Kit Kats. So this is kind of what it looks like. I'm gonna put it on low heat so that way it like cools down and it doesn't get super hard because before the Oreos are starting to get burnt. So now I'm just gonna wait until it all melts. Okay, so I just put the brownie on the plate. I'm gonna go ahead and actually drizzle this stuff on top. Honestly, it doesn't look that pretty and it looks like a lob of crap like legit poop don't tell me that it doesn't look disgusting <laughs> hey it's burning though so it's like smoking I don't know if that changes the taste of it but all right let's try this thing honestly it's not that bad. <laughs> and then you get like the crisp of the wafers from the Kit Kat. Like, it's kind of a good mixture. Hmm. Wow. Surprisingly really good. Really, really good. Mm. Fire! It's 1.30 in the morning, everybody's sleeping while I am enjoying my brownie. Mm. Honestly, this is very, very filling. Um, I almost ate it all. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It really helps. And I'm very sorry about my vlogs not being very interesting right now. It's because Kiana's sick and I have to take care of her most of the day. So I'm not able to go out and actually do a bunch of things. Oh yeah, and before I forget, today's shout out goes to Celia. Celia, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really hope you're enjoying them. And guys, make sure you follow her. Her Instagram is right here. If you guys would like a shout out on one of my videos, all you have to do is subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and then comment done on my most recent Instagram photo, and I will pick somebody to feature in my next video. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to bed, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace, deuces, and bye!